today we are going to learn laplace transforms in just 2 hours so in 2 hours you can learn the entire laplace transforms so our basic idea is any unit in 2 hours you can learn you can learn any unit in 2 hours with the time we have provided some videos here. Thank you. Now we are going to discuss Laplace transform definition and basic formulas related to the Laplace transforms. Basic formulas related to the Laplace transforms. Okay, today we are going to discuss Laplace transforms. So, what is meant by Laplace transform and what is the definition of the Laplace transform? We will discuss. First, Laplace of f of t. So, f of t is a function. Then, Laplace of f of t, how we can define is nothing but integral 0 to infinity e power minus st into f of t dt. Okay. This is the definition of Laplace of f of t. So, Laplace of f of t means integral 0 to infinity e power minus st into the function. Then it is called the Laplace of f of t. So, t should be a positive number. t should be a positive number. And the second one, this integral should exist. These are the two conditions in the Laplace transform of Laplace transform of a function f of t. So Laplace of f of t is nothing but integral 0 to infinity e power minus st into the function into dt. t should be greater than or 0. That means it should be a positive number and this should uh, this integral should exist. Okay. This is about the Laplace transform of f of t. Now we will discuss some st basic elementary functions of. Okay. First one. So Laplace of 1 is how much? Let us discuss. Laplace of 1 is nothing but Laplace of 1 is how much? Uh, 1 by s. Okay. Laplace of 1 is equal to 1 by s. This is the first formula. Second formula you come across with if you Laplace of a constant k, then it is k by s. That means if it is 2, 2 by s. If it is 3, 3 by s. If it is 4, 4 by s. Okay. Next formula is Laplace of 0. Laplace of, e of 0 is equal to 0. You remember this one. Okay. Next one. Laplace of t. Laplace of t. So, Laplace of t is equal to 1 by s square. Laplace of t is equal to 1 by s square. Okay. Similarly, Laplace of e power a t. Laplace of e power a t. 1 by s minus a. 1 by s minus a. This s minus a should be greater than 0. Okay. So, Laplace of e power a t is equal to 1 by s minus a. Next formula. Laplace of e power minus a t. Laplace of e power minus a t is nothing but 1 by s plus a. 1 by s plus a. So, what is the difference between Laplace of e power at and Laplace of e power minus at? If it is plus at, here you are getting 1 by s minus a. If it is minus at, you are getting plus a. Okay. Next one, Laplace of sin at. Laplace of sin at is equal to a by s square plus a square. Laplace of sin a t is equal to a by s square plus a square. Similarly, Laplace of cos a t. Laplace of cos a t means s by s square plus a square. s by s square plus a square. 
So sin A T means A by something. Cos A T means S by something that you have to remember always. Next formula I will write. So Laplace of hyperbolic sin A T. Laplace of hyperbolic sin A T. So if it is sin means you will get A by something. If it is hyperbolic you are going to write S square minus A square. So here it is S square plus A square. If it is hyperbolic you are writing S square minus A square. Next formula is Laplace of cos AT hyperbolic cos. If it is cos means S by something. So hyperbolic means S square minus A square. Okay. Now you can uh, differentiate between these two and these two. So hyperbolic always the denominator is minus. For sin it is A by something. For cos it is S by something. Okay. Next you should know one more formula about the linearity property. So linearity property this is also simple one. So that is Laplace of Laplace of C1 into F of T. C1 into F of T plus C2 into G of T. G equal to you can write this one as C1 into Laplace of F of T plus C2 into Laplace of G of T. So simple what he is saying is Laplace of a constant into a function plus a constant into another function you can write it as you can write the constant outside and you can do the Laplace of the function that he is saying nothing else is there. Okay. So this is about the definition and uh, introduction of the basic formulas we have. So definition what it says I will write it here. Laplace of f of t. A function f of t is nothing but integral 0 to infinity e power minus st into f of t dt. Okay. This is the basic definition of the Laplace. T should be a positive number and this integral should exist. Okay. This is about the basic definition and formulas of the Laplace transforms. Okay. Today we are going to discuss Laplace transform basic problems. We are going to discuss Laplace transform basic problems. Today we are going to discuss some basic problems. Okay. Today we are going to uh, discuss some basic problems. So first problem we are going to discuss is first problem. Laplace of t square plus 1 whole square. t square plus 1 whole square is how much? So, this t square plus 1 whole square, we don't have the direct formula. So, Laplace of t square plus 1 whole square, you don't have any formula. For that one, what you have to do is, you have to write this one in terms of the summation of the known Laplace functions. So if t square plus 1 whole square means a square t power 4 plus b square 1 plus 2ab and means 2 into t square. Okay. Next you apply the Laplace transform both sides. Therefore, Laplace of t square plus 1 whole square is equal to. So, if you apply Laplace of t power 4 plus 1 plus 2 t square. So, already we know the linearity property. So, according to that one, you can write this one as Laplace of t power 4 plus Laplace of 1 plus 2 into constant you get it outside of the Laplace. 2 into Laplace of t square. Okay. This is nothing but Laplace of t power 4. t power 4. 
so that formula is nothing but what it says laplace of t power n is equal to n factorial by s power n plus 1 this is the formula so t power 4 means 4 factorial by s power 4 plus 1 s power 5 ok plus laplace of 1 is nothing but 1 by s plus laplace of t square means 2 factorial by s cube again you have one more t so you write this t ok if you do the simplification you will get the answer ok so next we will discuss one more problem that is sin 2t into cos t sin 2t into cos t ok so what is this problem says sin 2t into cos t we know the formula for sin 2t we know the formula for cos t but we don't know the formula for sin 2t into cos t so what you have to do is this one sin 2t into cos t sin 2t into cos t you what you can do is that you have to write this one as summation of the known laplace transforms so therefore you multiply with 2 and divide with this one with 2 therefore 1 by 2 into sin 2t into cos t so this is 2 sin a cos b so 2 sin a cos b means 1 by 2 into sin a plus b sin a minus b sin a plus b means sin 2t plus t sin 3t sin a minus b 2t minus t means sin t ok this is a you will get so therefore 1 by 2 into sin 3t plus sin t this is the way you will get ok now what you can do is we will rub this one ok so next one so now you apply the laplace laplace of sin 2t into cos t laplace of sin 2t into cos t is nothing but so i am now i am directly writing this one using the linearity property 1 by 2 into laplace of sin 3t laplace of sin 3t plus laplace of sin t okay so 1 by 2 into laplace of sin 3t a by something 3 by s square plus a square a square means in place of a you have 3 therefore s square plus 3 square plus laplace of sin t a by something in place of a you have 1 therefore 1 by s square plus 1 so this is the answer you are going to get ok similarly we have one more problem I am going to discuss cos cube 2t so cos cube 2t this is the problem we have so I know the one formula so what is that one is cos 3t formula I know what is cos 3t 4 cos cube t minus 3 cos t this is the formula I need cos cube 2t not t cos cube 2t that means cos cube 2t require that means here you have to write 2t in place of t you have to write 2t therefore this will become 3 into 2t cos 6t is equal to 4 cos cube 2t minus 3 cos 2t in place of t I am writing 2t therefore you will get like this we require how much cos cube 2t so cos cube 2t t is nothing but cos cube 2t is nothing but so this one term you move to the left hand side so what happens cos 60 plus 3 cos 2t by 4 this is the formula therefore cos cube 2t means 1 by 4 into 1 by 4 into cos 60 plus 3 cos 2t ok 
so now so cos cube to t we don't have the direct formula that's why what we did is we have converted cos cube to t in terms of the known laplace transforms okay so therefore now you apply the laplace transforms so laplace of cos cube 2t is equal to directly i am applying the linearity property problem okay so 1 by 4 into laplace of cos 60 okay plus 3 into laplace of cos 2t okay so this is nothing but 1 by 4 into laplace of cos 60 cos means s by something s by s square plus a square or minus a square plus a square means 6 square in place of a we have 6 plus 3 into cos means s by something s by s square plus in place of a we have how much 2 therefore 2 square so if you simplify that one you will get the answer ok so here what you have first problem is t square plus 1 whole square Seven, second problem is sin 2t into cos dt cos t this is one more different model next one is the cos cube 2t this is also something different model problem ok similarly we will do one more uh, one two three different problems ok so now it is the problem is next fourth problem e power 2t e power 2t plus 4t cube minus 2 sin 3t ok plus 3 cos 3t 3 cos 3t ok so we have to go for the laplace transform of this one ok so first step so laplace of e power 2t plus 4t cube minus 2 sin 3t plus 3 cos 3t ok so using linearity property what you can write this one as laplace of e power 2t plus 4 into laplace of t cube minus 2 into laplace of sin 3t plus 3 into laplace of cos 3t ok so what you are going to get laplace of e power 2t in place of a you have 2 therefore you are going to get 1 by s minus 2 plus 4 into laplace of t cube so this formula what it says n factorial by s power n plus 1 therefore 3 factorial by s power 4 minus 2 into laplace of sin 3t a by something a by something means 3 by s square plus 3 square plus 3 into laplace of cos cos means s by something s by s square plus 3 square because in place of a you have 3 ok this is the next fourth problem similarly i am going to discuss one more problem that is the another different model that is uh, let us consider so ok we will discuss in some other page ok ok we will do ok so what is that one is find laplace of f of t what is saying that the this problem is f of t is equal to e power t when t lies between 0 to 5 and is equal to 0 sorry is not is equal to it is equal to 3 not 0 is equal to 3 if it is t greater than 5 
so what he is saying is a on a scale of this one zero five so this is e power t okay greater than five it is greater than five means up to here the value is three okay this he is saying so this is the next problem okay for that one we have to what you have to do so f of t is equal to e power t when t lies between 0 to 5 and for t greater than it is 3 he is saying okay so this problem for this problem we have to follow the standard definition the standard definition what it says laplace of f of t is equal to integral 0 to infinity e power minus st into f of t dt this is the standard definition so this definition you can write it as integral 0 to 5 e power minus st into f of t into dt plus again integral 5 to infinity e power minus st into f of t dt okay that is nothing but integral 0 to 5 integral 0 to 5 for integral 0 to 5 what is the function value it is nothing but e power t therefore e power minus st into e power t dt okay for next integral integral 5 to infinity what is the function value 3 so in for integral 5 to infinity the function value is 3 therefore e power minus st into 3 dt okay so if you next to you have to simplify this one that is equal to integral 0 to 5 okay integral 0 to 5 this one you can write it as e power minus s minus 1 into t this one this one you can write like this e power minus s minus 1 into t so minus s okay next one minus into minus plus t okay for our convenience i am writing like this okay into dt plus 3 integral 5 to infinity e power minus st into dt okay so next what you can do is this one is you can do the integration so this is nothing but e power minus s minus 1 into t by minus s minus 1 between the limits 0 to 5 okay between the limit 0 to 5 plus t into integral of e power minus st e power minus st by minus s between the limits 5 to infinity okay so next if you simplify this one you are going to get e power minus 5 into s minus 1 by s minus 1 plus 1 by s minus 1 plus 3 into e power minus 5s by s 3 into e power minus 5s by s so this is the different model problem so what is here he has given the function for 0 to 5 the function is e power t for greater than 5 he has given it as 3 okay so in this type of problems you have to solve using the definition using the definition so i have written the definition next what i did is for integral 0 to infinity i has rewritten it as integral 0 to 5 1 integral plus 5 to infinity another integral so according to that one i have substituted the function values and i have simplified the problem so that is the concept so okay thank you Today we are going to discuss first shifting theorem and second shifting theorem problems of Laplace transform. First shifting theorem 
and second shifting theorem problems of laplace transforms today we are going to discuss the problems based on the first shifting theorem so, okay first shifting theorem first shifting theorem okay short i will write it as f dot s dot t okay first shifting theorem so the theory what it says so first i will give the problems when you have to apply the first shifting theorem so if you come across with any problems like e power 5t into cos 2t so next one e power minus 5t into cos 2t Similarly, you come across with any problems e power 3t into cos 6t. So, in general, e power 8t into f of t. That means e power 8t into f of t or e power minus 8t into the function f of t. Then, these problems you have to solve using first shifting theorem. So, first shifting theorem, what it says is Laplace of e power 8 into f of t Laplace of e power 8 into f of t is equal to f bar of s minus a f bar of s minus a What is the meaning of this one is First step, what you have to design You have to find out the Laplace of f of t Laplace of f of t is the first step. Next, what you have to do is yes, you have to replace with s minus a. This is the second step. So, next one, if the problem is e for Laplace of e power minus a t into f of t, then yes, you have to replace with f s plus a. So, problem how we have to do that means first you find the Laplace of f of t okay second what you have to do is yes you should replace with s plus a so if it is e power minus a t s should replace with s plus a that is you have to remember if it is laplace of e power plus a t s you should replace with s minus a if you remember this one the problems will be very easy for you so now i will consider one problem okay first problem so first problem what is the first problem e power minus t into cos 2t e power minus t into cos 2t so laplace of e we have to find out laplace of e power minus t into cos 2t okay is equal to how much he is asking so first what you have to do is the Except e power minus a t, you have to find out the Laplace first one. That is nothing but Laplace of cos 2t. Laplace of cos 2t is how much? S by s square plus a square. In place of a, you have the 2. Therefore, 2 square. So, next step, what you have to do? Here it is e power minus a t. S should replace with s plus a. Here a is equal to how much? a is equal to 2 a is equal to 2 therefore laplace of e power minus sorry if uh, not uh, a is equal to 2 here a is equal to how much uh, e power minus a t a is equal to 1 a is equal to we have 1 e power minus a t so a is equal to 1 therefore e power minus t into cos 2t okay e power minus t into cos 2t yes you have to replace with how much s plus 1 therefore s plus 1 by s plus 1 whole square plus plus 2 square this is the final answer similarly we will do the one more problem okay second problem that is the second problem second problem what he it is nothing but that e power minus 3t into e power minus 3t into 2 cos 5t 2 cos 5t 
minus 3 sin 5t okay this is the problem we have the laplace of e power minus 3t into 2 cos 5t minus 3 sin 5t is equal to how much so first uh, what you can do that one is you multiply this one okay then you are going to get 2 into e power minus 3t into cos 5t okay minus 3 into e power minus 3t into sin 5t okay so this part first we will solve okay next we will solve this part so first part i am taking okay 2 into e power minus 3t into cos 5t so cos 5t so laplace i am finding okay so how much for this one laplace is nothing but the 2 into laplace of e power minus 3t into cos 5t okay so laplace of e power minus 3t into cos 5t so but cos 5t is how much s by s square plus 5 square cos 5t value here it is how much e power minus 3t so e power minus 3t means s should be replaced with s plus 3 so if you replace s with s plus 3 you are going to get s plus 3 by s plus 3 whole square plus 5 square okay so that's why you are going to get 2 into s plus 3 by s plus 3 whole square plus 5 square plus 5 square so next one for this one 2 this is the part 1 okay so this is nothing but the second one is 3 into e power minus 3t into sin 5t sin 5t okay so laplace of this one this is nothing but 3 into laplace of e power minus 3t into sin 5t okay so laplace of sin t is equal to how much a by something 5 by s square plus 5 square s square plus 5 square so you have e power minus a t so s should be replaced with s plus 3 therefore 5 by s plus 3 whole square plus 5 square so that is nothing but uh, 3 into you are going to get 5 by s plus 3 whole square plus 5 square so so therefore laplace of e power minus 3t into 2 cos 5t 2 cos 5t minus 3 sin 5t is equal to first one 2 into s plus 3 2 into s plus 3 by s plus 3 whole square plus 5 square plus minus 3 into 5 3 into 5 that is nothing but 15 by s plus 3 whole square plus 5 square so this is the answer so this is the answer for this problem similarly e power we will do one more problem that is e power minus t into cos square t so find the laplace of e power minus t into cos square t okay so for this one first step what you have to do is we have to find out the laplace of cos square t so laplace of cos square t we don't have the direct formula therefore laplace of you can write cos square t as 1 plus cos 2t by 2 so that is nothing but uh, laplace of 1 by 2 into laplace of 1 plus 1 by 2 into laplace of cos 2t okay so that is nothing but equal to 
ला वन बै टू इंटू ला प्लस आफ वन ला प्लस आफ वन मीन वन बै एस प्लस वन बै टू इंटू ला प्लस आफ का टू टी एस बै एस स्क्वायर प्लस टू स्क्वायर देर फॉर दिस इज द आंसर सो वी रिक्वायर ला प्लस आफ इ पवर मैनस टी इंटू का स्क्वायर टी देर फॉर इ पवर मैनस टी देर फॉर एस यू शुड रीप्लेस विथ एस प्लस वन वन बै टू इंटू एस प्लस वन प्लस वन बै टू इंटू एस प्लस वन बै एस प्लस वन होल स्क्वायर प्लस टू स्क्वायर सो दिस इज द आंसर सिमिलरली वी कैन नो अबाउट द सेकेंड शिफ्टिंग थीरम वी विल डिस्कस द सेकेंड शिफ्टिंग थीरम सो इन इन फर्स्ट शिफ्टिंग थीरम यू हेव टू रिमेंबर ओनली टू थिंग्स इफ इट इज ई पवर ए टी इंटू एफ ऑफ टी एस शुड रीप्लेस विथ एस माइनस ए इफ इट इज ई पवर माइनस ए टी इंटू एफ ऑफ टी एस यू शुड रीप्लेस विथ एस प्लस ए इफ यू नो दीज टू कॉन्सेप्ट फर्स्ट शिफ्टिंग थीरम इज ओवर फर्स्ट शिफ्टिंग थीरम इज ओवर थीरटिकली हव फर्स्ट शिफ्टिंग थीरम इज नथिंग बट ला प्लस आफ इ पवर ए टी इंटू एफ ऑफ टी ला प्लस आफ इ पवर ए टी इंटू एफ ऑफ टी इज ईक्वल टू एफ बार आफ एस मैनस ए ओके सिमिलरली ला प्लस आफ इ पवर मैनस ए टी इंटू एफ ऑफ टी इज ईक्वल टू एफ बार आफ एस प्लस ए एफ बार आफ एस प्लस ए सो दिस इज अबाउट द फर्स्ट शिफ्टिंग थीरम नेक्स्ट वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस सेकेंड शिफ्टिंग थीरम ओके नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस सेकेंड शिफ्टिंग थीरम सेकेंड शिफ्टिंग थीरम सेकेंड शिफ्टिंग थीरम सो सेकेंड शिफ्टिंग थीरम सो हियर g of t we will define a function g of t is equal to g of t is equal to let us consider one problem first cos t minus 5 by 2 for t greater than 5 by 3 this is 5 by 3 that is nothing 5 by 3 for t less than 5 by 3 The function is zero. So here it is not two. Here it is three. So cos of t minus pi by three, if t greater than pi by three, zero t less than pi by three. Okay. What you have to find out is la plus of g of t. La plus of g of t. So la plus of g of t formula is e power minus ए एस इंटू एफ बार आफ एस दिस इज द फार्मला ला प्लस जी आफ टी इज ईक्वल टू इ पवर मैनस ए इंटू एफ बार आफ एस दिस इज द सैकंड शिफ्टिंग थीरम फार्मला सो इ पवर मैनस ए एस इंटू एफ बार आफ एस सो हियर सो वी विल साव द प्रॉब्लम ओके एफ बार ऑफ एस इज हाउ मच ला प्लस ऑफ एफ ऑफ टी सो फर्स्ट वी विल डू द प्रोसीजर ओके हियर द फंक्शन एफ ऑफ टी इज ईक्वल टू काज टी फंक्शन एफ ऑफ टी इज ईक्वल टू काज टी सो जी ऑफ टी ए फंक्शन डिफाइंड इन टर्म्स ऑफ द अंदर फंक्शन दट इज काज टी देर फॉर आई हेव रिटर्न एफ ऑफ टी इज ईक्वल टू काज टी सो दिस इज द फर्स्ट स्टेप Similarly, a value is equal to you have pi by three. That means this is the value. A is equal to pi by three. Okay. Next to second step, what you have to do is we require f bar of s means la plus of f of t. You have to find out. Therefore, la plus of f of t is equal to la plus of cos t is equal to cos s by s square plus one square. 
so laplace of f of t means nothing but f bar of s is equal to s by s square plus 1 square okay s by s square plus 1 square so next one by second shifting theorem by i will write shortly i will write by second shifting theorem laplace of g of t g equal to formula is e power minus a s into f bar of s okay e power minus a means pi by 3 therefore e power minus pi by 3 into s into f bar of s f bar of s means s by s square plus 1 s by s square plus 1 e power minus pi by 3 into s yes, this is ok so this is the answer so this is about the second shifting theorem second shifting theorem so theoretically what the concept how it will be means we will discuss g of t is equal to f of t minus a when it is when t greater than a so is equal to 0 when t less than a okay then laplace of g of t is equal to e power minus a s into f bar of s this is the second shifting theorem okay this is about the second shifting theorem so a function g of t is defined in terms of another function f Okay, g of t is equal to f of t minus a. If t is greater than a, g equal to 0. If t less than a, then Laplace of the function g of t is nothing but e power minus a s into f bar of s. f bar of s is nothing but Laplace of f of t. Okay, thank you. Today we are going to discuss change of scale property and multiplication with t power n problems of Laplace transforms. Today we are going to discuss change of scale property of Laplace transform and multiplication with t power n model problems. Today we are going to discuss change of scale property. Okay. Today we are going to discuss change of scale property. Change of scale property. Change of scale property. So how the problems will be? First we will discuss that one. Change of scale property. How the problems will be? So let us consider he has given Laplace of f of t. He has given Laplace f of t. You have to find out Laplace of f of 3t. You have to find out Laplace of f of 3t. Okay. Again, you have to find out Laplace of f of t by 3. So, what is that one? It is nothing but you know Laplace f of f of t. You have to find out Laplace of f of 3t or Laplace of f of t by 3 and so on so forth Laplace of f of t by 4 ok so and so this comes under the change of scale property so we have the some formulas two formulas are there what is that one first Laf Laplace of f of t is nothing but f bar of s shortly we can remember it as f bar of s if a Laplace of f of t is equal to f bar of s, then Laplace of f of a t, Laplace of f of a t is nothing but 1 by a into f bar of s by a. 1 by a into f bar of s by a. Means, you have to write 1 by a. In place of s, you should replace with s by a. That is the concept. Okay. So, next one. Similarly, Laplace of f of t by a, f Laplace of f of t by a is nothing but 
a into f bar of a s a into f bar of a s you write a into s you should replace with a s so that is the two concepts so if it is a t 1 by a s by a if it is t by a by a a into f bar of a s so if you do one problem or automatically you can know the procedure so first we will do one problem what is that one is so laplace of f of t has given so laplace of f of t the value is 9 s square minus 12 s plus 15 by s minus 1 whole cube s minus 1 whole cube what we have to find out is laplace of f of 3t laplace of f of 3t is equal to how much second question is laplace of f of t by 3 is equal to how much okay so for the first problem laplace of f of 3t okay laplace of f of 3t we have to find out okay laplace of f of 3t formula is what 1 by a in place of a how much 3 is there therefore 1 by 3 into f bar of f bar of s by a this is the formula we have so laplace of f of 3t is equal to 1 by 3 into f of f bar of s by a s by a okay f bar of s by a so that is nothing but f bar of s by 3 1 by 3 f bar of s by 3 so this is nothing but 1 by 3 into already he has the function laplace of f of t has given that it means f bar of s he has given in this one s should replace with s by 3 so this you can write as 9 into s by 3 whole square minus 12 into s by 3 plus 15 plus 15 by s by 3 minus 1 whole cube s by 3 minus 1 whole cube this is the laplace of f of 3d second question laplace of f of t by 3 laplace of f of t by 3 so what is the formula we have to write a into a into f bar of a s is the formula a is equal to 3 therefore 3 into f bar of 3 s that means 3 into wherever you come across with s you write it as 3 s therefore 3 into 9 into 3 s square whole square minus 12 into 3 s by plus 15 whole divided by 3 s minus 1 whole cube if you simplify this one you are going to get the answer so just you check these two problems so change of scale property two problem laplace of f of t has given laplace of f of t has given means f bar of s he has given so this shortly you can write as f bar of s so f bar of s he has given so laplace of f of t is equal to this much find laplace of f of 3t so 1 by 3 f bar of s by 3 so in this one you have to replace s with s by 3 you simplify the problem you will get the answer f of t by 3 f of t by 3 formula is a into f bar of s that means 3 into f bar of 3s so wherever you come across with s replace s with 3s so you are going to get this answer okay this is about the change of scale change of scale property okay next we are going to discuss some another different model problems what is that one is so problems based on multiplication with t power n so multiplication with t power n multiplication multiplication with t power n 
so how the problems looks like that means you come across with the problem let us consider t into e power minus t 2t into sin 3t okay another problem let us consider t square into cos 3t okay next one t cube into cos 4t so these are the different problems so in every problem you have t power n here it is cube here it is square here it is t okay so you have to know how these problems can be solved so we have for the so this multiplication with uh, t power n so we have one formula what is that one is if laplace of f of t is equal to f bar of s laplace of f of t is equal to f bar of s means laplace of f of t shortly we can remember it as f bar of s okay then laplace of t power n into f of t laplace of t power n into f of t is equal to minus 1 power n into minus 1 power n into nth derivative okay minus 1 power n into nth derivative of f bar of s nth derivative of f bar of s this is the formula so um, simply you can remember this one so how we have to remember this one means t power n into f of t means minus 1 power n nth derivative of f bar of s so if it is t square minus 1 whole square second derivative t cube minus 1 whole cube third derivative t power 4 minus 1 power 4 fourth derivative okay you can understand the concept so we will do one problem let us consider okay so the first problem let us consider the first problem let us consider it is laplace of t cos 3t let us consider t cos 3t so laplace of t cos 3t so first what you have to do is so first you find out the laplace of cos 3t laplace of cos 3t is equal to how much s by s square plus 3 square s by s square plus 3 square this is nothing but s by s square plus 9 s by s square plus 9 but what we require is actually laplace of t into cos 3t laplace of t into cos 3t here t power 1 is there t power 1 is there therefore this is nothing but minus 1 power 1 into first derivative of first derivative of s by s square plus 9 s by s square plus 9 ok so this is the concept if you do the differentiation you are going to get the answer ok next we will go for some other problem ok so laplace of let us consider laplace of t square into cos 3t ok laplace of t square into cos 3t laplace of t square into cos 3t so first one step what you have to do laplace of cos 3t you have to find out laplace of cos 3t is equal to how much s by s square plus 9 second step what you have to find out laplace of t square into cos 3t t square into cos 3t means t square means you have to do the two times differentiation minus one whole square d square by ds square into s by s square plus 9 d square by ds square into s square s in s by s square plus 9 so that is nothing but um, s square plus 9 into so v into so differentiation of s is 1 minus 
next again s into s square plus 9 differentiation it is 2s whole divided by s square plus 9 whole square s square plus 9 whole square so again d by ds of so we have to do the differentiation two times we have to do the differentiation two times so first time i did the differentiation so you got like this next again you do the one more differentiation so you are going to get final answer so again it is in the u by v model hmm? okay again it is in the u by v model so first you simplify the numerator so this you can write it as d by ds of s square plus 9 here here it is 2s square you come across with 2s square minus 2s square plus s square so how much you are going to get minus s square so minus s square so plus 9 therefore you are going to get numerator as 9 minus s square by s square plus 9 whole square okay s square plus 9 whole square now you do the differentiation this is in the model u by v in the model u by v therefore v into s square plus 9 whole square into differentiation of 9 minus s square minus 2s into minus now it is 9 minus s square into s square plus 9 whole square differentiation is nothing but 2 into s square plus 9 again s square plus 9 differentiation is 2s whole divided by s square plus 9 whole power 4 so you simplify this problem you are going to get the final answer so simple first two, you have to go for the laplace of cos 3d this is the first step next one t square into cos 3d t square into cos 3d means two times differentiation so when you are multiplying with t power n always you remember differentiation okay so two times differentiation so one time differentiation i write it as d by ds so if you simplify the inner part you it will be like this so again you do one more differentiation you will get like this so simplification you are going to get the final answer next i am going to do the one more problem okay so laplace of you have to find out t into e power t into hyperbolic cos t so okay so first step how you can do laplace of hyperbolic cos t so cos means s by hyperbolic means s by s square minus 1 second step laplace of e power t into hyperbolic cos t e power t, t into ca, hyperbolic cos t yes you have to replace with how much s minus 1 therefore s minus 1 by s minus 1 whole square minus 1 ok yes s minus 1 whole square minus 1 therefore s minus 1 by here the denominator is s square plus 1 ok minus 2s s square plus 1 minus 2s so what you left with is s square minus 2s s square minus 2s e power t into cos t third step laplace of t into e power t into cos t so up to laplace of e power t into cos t this is the answer now it is multiplication with t so multiplication with t means minus 1 into 1 time differentiation of s minus 1 by s square minus 25 ok s square minus 25 so that is nothing but minus 1 minus into so u by v model s square minus 25 into differentiation of s minus 1 1 minus now it is s minus 1 into s square minus 25 differentiation s square differentiation 2s 2s okay 
whole divided by s square minus 25 whole square s square minus 25 whole square so if you do this uh, simplification here it is uh, s square minus 25 s square minus this is not 25 it is 2s okay 2s it is s not 25 it is 2s Oh, it is somewhat uh, okay again we will discuss okay it is not 25 okay we will discuss one again one time so what is that one is Laplace of t into e power minus t into cos t okay Laplace of t into e power minus t into cos t so first pra Laplace of cos t Laplace of cos t is how much s yes, by s square minus 1 so second one laplace of e power minus t into cos t yes you should replace with s plus 1 therefore s plus 1 by s plus 1 whole square minus 1 so s plus 1 by s plus 1 whole square minus 1 means s square plus 1 plus 2s so what you left with is s square plus 2s s square plus 2s here plus 1 minus 1 will get cancelled so next step is s square plus 2s okay now laplace of t into e power minus t into hyperbolic cos t okay so this is nothing but minus 1 power 1 into 1 time derivative of s plus 1 by s square plus 2s s square plus 2s let us consider okay that is equal to minus into differentiation s square plus 2s into differentiation of s plus 1 is 1 minus minus now it is s plus 1 into s square plus 2s s square differentiation is differentiation is s square differentiation is 2s plus 2s differentiation is 2 whole divided by s square plus 2s s square plus 2s whole square so if you simplify that one we are going to get the answer so first you have to go for the laplace of cos t next one laplace of e power minus t into cos t so next one laplace of t into e power minus t into cos t this is a steps involved okay Thank you. Today we are going to discuss division by t. Laplace transforms having division with t problems and integral 0 to t f of t dt. This type of model problems we are going to discuss. Today we are going to discuss uh, problems with division by t so division by t division by t okay problems based on division by t so let us know how the problems looks like means so sin t by t so find the laplace of sin t by t so similarly sin 3t into cos 2t by t cos 2t by t find the laplace of sin 3t into cos 2t by t so here you come across with the division with t so then how to solve the problems so previously we have one formula so what is that one is laplace of t power n into f of t is equal to minus 1 power n into nth derivative nth derivative of f bar of s okay this is the formula so when you come across with the multiplication always you have to remember the derivative differentiation so here is laplace of f of t by t so it, when you come across with the division always you have to remember the integration integral s to infinity f bar of s 
ds f bar of s ds so multiplication with t power n means differentiation so division with t means always you have to remember with the integration okay so next we will do first simple problem okay so what is that one is find laplace of sin t by t sin t by t so first what you have to do you find the laplace of sin t laplace of sin t means a by 1 by s square plus 1 this is the laplace of sin t next what you have to do is laplace of sin t by t laplace of sin t by t that means integration integral s to infinity 1 by 1 plus s square so 1 by 1 plus x square model that is nothing but tan inverse s between the limits s to infinity so tan inverse infinity means pi by 2 minus lower limit if you substitute you are going to get s tan inverse s that is nothing but cot inverse s so first you have to go for the laplace of sin t okay next you have to go for the laplace of sin t by t so the integration is between s to infinity okay next we will do some other problem okay that is laplace of sin 3t into cos t by t okay laplace of sin 3t into cos t by t so first what we have to do you have to find out the laplace of sin 3t into cos t laplace of sin 3t into cos t so we don't have any direct formula for this product therefore you multiply with 2 and divide with 2 therefore laplace of 1 by 2 into 2 sin 3t cos t so this part is 2 sin a cos b 2 sin a cos b means 1 by 2 into laplace of sin a plus b sin 4t plus sin a minus b this is nothing but sin 2t okay so that is nothing but 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 into laplace of sin 40 laplace of laplace of sin 40 plus 1 by 2 into laplace of sin 2t <coughs> okay so 1 by 2 into <coughs> laplace of sin 40 4 by s square plus for square plus 1 by 2 into sin 2t laplace 2 by s square plus 2 square so that is nothing but okay that is nothing but 1 by 2 into 4 that is nothing but 2 2 times therefore 2 by s square plus 4 square plus 2 2 will get cancelled therefore you left with 1 by s square plus 2 square okay so uh, 2 2 times so therefore 2 by s square plus 4 square 2 2 will get cancelled therefore you left with 1 by s square plus 2 square okay so this is laplace of sin 3t into cos t so next one the second step what you have to do laplace of sin 3t into cos t by by t by t means integral s to infinity therefore integral s to infinity 2 by s square plus 4 square plus integral s to infinity 1 by s square plus 2 square so that is equal to 2 into 1 by a square plus x square model 1 by a 1 by a tan inverse x by a 1 by a means 1 by 4 tan inverse s by 4 s by 4 ok plus between the limits s to infinity plus next one 1 by a 1 by 2 into tan inverse s by 2 between the limits s to infinity so that is nothing but 2 2 times therefore 1 by 2 ok 
so in the both the cases you have 1 by 2 therefore you take 1 by 2 as common so 1 by 2 if you take common you left with uh, tan inverse s by 4 plus uh, tan inverse s by 2 okay between the limits s to infinity that is equal to 1 by 2 into if you substitute to infinity you are going to get pi by 2 again pi by 2 hmm? okay next if you substitute to uh, s you are going to get uh, tan inverse s by 4 plus tan inverse s by 2 so this is nothing but equal to pi by 2 plus pi pi by 2 plus pi is pi pi into 1 by 2 pi by 2 okay pi by 2 minus 1 by 2 into tan inverse s by 4 plus tan inverse s by 2 okay so this is the final answer okay next uh, we are going to discuss one more problem okay <coughs> that is nothing but uh, laplace of e power minus a t minus e power minus b t by t okay so first what you have to find out laplace of e power minus a t minus e power minus b t so this is nothing but laplace of e power minus a t minus a t minus laplace of e power minus b t so this is nothing but 1 by s plus a minus 1 by s plus b 1 by s plus a minus 1 by s plus b so next one what you have to do is second step laplace of we require e power minus a t minus e power minus b t by t so division means what you have to remember integration integration between the limits s to infinity 1 by s plus a minus integral s to infinity 1 by s plus b ds so here also ds so that is nothing but uh, integral 1 by s plus a so log of s plus a minus log of s plus b between the limits s to infinity so that is nothing but um, log of a minus b log a minus b means log a by b log s plus a by s plus b okay between the limits s to infinity so here s you take common therefore what you left with is logarithm of 1 plus a by s by 1 plus b by s okay between the limits s to infinity now you substitute the limits that is nothing but if you substitute the infinity upper limit you are going to get log 1 minus okay if you substitute to s what you are going to get is log 1 plus a by s by 1 plus b by s only okay so this is nothing but equal to log 1 is 0 0 minus if you simplify this one you are going to get log s plus a by s plus b okay so that is nothing but uh, so the here it is minus is there minus b is nothing but whole power 1 so uh, if you want to write positive sign before that one you are going to get log s plus b by s plus a not s plus a by s plus b here it is s plus b by s plus a so this is the about the problems based on division with t okay next we are going to discuss another model so that is integral 0 to t okay integral 0 to t based problems so here it is simple logic laplace of problems based on integral 0 to t so 
laplas of f of t is equal to f bar of s okay laplas of f of t is equal to f bar of s then laplas of integral 0 to t f of t dt is equal to 1 by s f bar of s okay you can understand the concept okay similarly if it is two integrals are there laplace of integral 0 to t again one more integral 0 to t f of t dt again dt is equal to 1 by s square f bar of s so one integral 0 to t 1 by s two integral 0 to t is 1 by s square if three integral 0 to t is 1 by s cube if n integrals are there 1 by s power n into f bar of s you will get so this is the integral 0 to t based problems so one integral 0 to t means 1 by s into f bar of s you remember this one okay let us do the some simple problems based on integral 0 to t okay so so first we will discuss one problem laplace of integral 0 to t 1 minus e power minus t by t dt laplace of 1 minus e power minus t by dt first what you have to do is you find the laplace of 1 minus e power minus t this is nothing but equal to laplace of 1 minus laplace of e power minus t laplace of 1 is equal to how much 1 by s minus laplace of e power minus t 1 by s plus 1 okay second step laplace of 1 minus e power minus t by t so division means always you have to remember integration integration between the limits s to infinity 1 by s minus integral s to infinity 1 by s plus 1 ds okay here it also ds 1 by s means log s minus 1 by s plus 1 means log s plus 1 okay between the limits s to infinity this is nothing but log a minus b means log a by b log s by s plus 1 between the limits s to infinity okay so that is nothing but uh, now you take s common therefore logarithm of you come across with 1 by 1 plus 1 by s between the limits s to infinity now you substitute the upper limit what you are going to get uh, logarithm of 1 minus again you substitute the lower limit if you substitute the lower limit you are going to get 1 plus 1 by s only so that is nothing but equal to log 1 is 0 minus if you simplify log 1 plus 1 by 1 plus 1 by s you are going to get log s by s plus 1 so if you simplify this one here it is minus sign is there for therefore logarithm of you will get s plus 1 by s okay this is about the laplace of 1 minus e power minus t by t we require the actual problem is not this one laplace of integral 0 to t 1 minus e power minus t by t dt okay this is the problem that is nothing but 1 integral 0 to t means 1 by s into f bar of s so that is nothing but 1 by s into f bar of s is log of s plus 1 by s okay so this is the final answer okay this is about the problems based on integral 0 to t so on the same model we will discuss one more problem okay that problem is laplace of e power minus 3t into integral 0 to t sin t by t dt okay sin 3t by sin t by t dt so first what you have to do is laplace of sin t laplace of sin t is how much a by 1 by 
एस स्क्वायर प्लस वन स्क्वायर मींस वन सेकंड स्टेप लैपलास ऑफ साइन टी बाय टी लैपलास ऑफ साइन टी बाय टी लैपलास ऑफ साइन टी बाय टी मींस डिवीजन मींस इंटीग्रेशन इंटीग्रल एस टू इनफिनिटी वन बाय एस स्क्वायर प्लस वन सो वन बाय वन प्लस एक्स स्क्वायर टैन इनवर्स एस tan inverse s between the limits s to infinity that is means if you substitute the upper limit you are going to get 5 by 2 minus if you substitute the lower limit you are going to get the same that is equal to cot inverse yes so next what you require is the next step laplace of integral 0 to t sin t by t okay sin t by t integration integration 0 to t means 1 by s into f bar of s 1 integration gravity 1 by s into f bar of s means cot inverse s okay next fourth step laplace of e power minus 3t into integral 0 to t sin t by t dt okay that is nothing but first shifting theorem we have to apply that means wherever you come across with replace with s plus 3 1 by s plus 3 into okay cot inverse s plus 3 okay this is the final answer so first what you did is the laplace of sin t okay first step is the laplace of sin t next step is the laplace of sin t by t next to integral 0 to t sin t by t Next step is the e power minus 3t into integral 0 to t is t by t. So that is nothing but the first shifting theorem. Therefore, this is the final answer. Okay. Thank you. Today we are going to discuss integral 0 to infinity f of t dt model problems. Integral 0 to infinity, not integral 0 to t. Previously, we did integral 0 to t model problems. Now, we are going to solve integral 0 to infinity model problems. Today, we are going to solve the problems having integral 0 to infinity model. Integral 0 to infinity t into e power minus 3t dt like that model problems. Here the integral 0 to infinity. Okay. 0 to infinity. Don't think it as integral 0 to t. Okay. Only integral 0 to infinity. Okay. So, simple. This is the simple problems. So, if you know the definition of Laplace transform, that is nothing but Laplace of f of t is equal to integral 0 to infinity e power minus s t into f of t dt okay you can solve this problem so laplace f of t is equal to integral 0 to infinity e power minus s t into f of t dt okay okay if you know you can solve the problem okay let us discuss one problem okay so first problem is integral 0 to infinity integral 0 to infinity t into e power minus 3t dt so the problem integral 0 to infinity okay now you consider the problem laplace of t find the laplace of t first so don't touch the e power minus st part so laplace of t is how much 1 by s square Laplace of t is equal to 1 by s square. Okay. So, by the definition of the Laplace, so what it says, integral 0 to infinity e power minus s t into the function t dt is equal to nothing but 1 by s square. Okay. Now, you compare this, uh, this one with this one. Here is t into e power minus 3t. Here it is t into e power minus st. So if you observe this one, what you are going to get is put s is equal to 3, you are going to get. So if you put s is equal to 3, therefore integral 0 to infinity 
e power minus 3t into t dt is equal to on the right hand side also you put in place of s3 therefore 1 by 3 square therefore 1 by n so this is the final answer okay similarly we can do the next another problem okay second problem second problem so integral 0 to infinity integral 0 to infinity t into e power minus 3t into sin t dt okay so in this one first step what you have to do laplace of sin t so don't touch the part e power minus 3t part laplace of sin t is equal to how much 1 by s square plus 1 okay so next what you have to do laplace of t sin t laplace of t sin t means so multiplication with t means always you have to remember the differentiation so minus 1 whole power 1 into 1 time differentiation of 1 by s square plus 1 ok that is equal to minus into minus into s square plus 1 whole power minus 1 this is nothing but therefore minus 1 into n into x power n minus 1 you have to write it again minus 1 into s square plus 1 whole power minus 2 n into x power n minus 1 again s square plus 1 differentiation is 2s so if you simplify this one minus into minus plus therefore you come across with 2s by s square plus 1 whole square 2s by s square plus 1 whole square this is t into sin t formula t into sin t answer so what we require so actual definition of this one using the laplace transform is nothing but so integral 0 to infinity e power minus s t into t sin t dt is equal to 2s by s square don't compare that one so so if you compare this one with this one integral 0 to infinity e power minus s t into t sin t dt ok so integral 0 to infinity e power minus s t into dt so um, so this is the actual definition is so you compare this one with the standard one so given problem so what you come across with is in place of s you have 3 in place of s you have 3 so put s is equal to put s is equal to 3 therefore fourth step what you are going to get is integral 0 to infinity e power minus 3t into t sin t dt is equal to so on the right hand side if you substitute 2 into 3 6 by s square means s square means uh, 3 square you are going to get ok 3 square plus 1 whole square that is equal to 6 by 3 square 9 plus 1 means 10 10 whole square is 100 so this is the answer you are going to get ok mm -hmm. ok next problem ok so next problem is uh, integral 0 to infinity e power minus a t minus e power minus b t by t dt so how you can solve this problem so first uh, we will do laplace of e power minus a t minus e power minus b t ok so laplace of e power minus a t my plus minus laplace of e power minus bt laplace of e power minus a t means 1 by s plus a minus 1 by s plus b 
so second step is laplace of e power minus a t minus e power minus b t by t so division means so division means what you have to remember integration integral s to infinity 1 by s plus a minus integral s to infinity 1 by s plus b so that is nothing but logarithm of s plus a minus logarithm of s plus b so it is nothing but log a minus b log s plus a by s plus b log s plus a by s plus b between the limits s to infinity between the limits s to infinity here also the between the limits s to infinity so now you take s as common so what you left with is 1 plus a by s by 1 plus b by s between the limits s to infinity so if you substitute the upper limit you are going to get logarithm of 1 minus if you substitute the lower limit log 1 plus a by s by 1 plus b by s so if you do the simplification log 1 is 0 minus log of you are going to get log s plus a by s plus b so that is nothing but equal to log of s plus b by s plus a log of s plus b by s plus a so this is um, next to if you compare this one according to the standard definition so this is nothing but equal that is nothing equal that is integral 0 to infinity ok e power minus s t into the function e power minus a t minus e power minus b t by t into d t ok so this is a, from this one you can say that put s is equal to 0 so so laplace of if you substitute 0 in this one so integral 0 to infinity e power minus a t minus e power minus b t by t d t is equal to so on the right hand side part also you substitute 0 you are going to get log b by a so this is the final answer with this one so laplace transforms first chapter of the first b tech second semester is over thank you today we are going to prove the theorem laplace of f of t by t laplace of f of t by t today we are going to discuss another theorem uh, in the first unit so that is uh, so if L of f of t is equal to f bar of s then laplace of f of t by t is equal to laplace of f of t by t that is means division means integration integral is to infinity f bar of s into ds f bar of s into ds so this one you have to remember integral s to infinity f bar of s ds laplace of f of t by t is equal to laplace of f of t by t is equal to integral s to infinity f bar of s ds ok so first we will consider the f bar of s f bar of s is equal to nothing but by the standard definition laplace of f of t definition integral 0 to infinity e power minus s t into f of t dt so division with uh, t means always you have to remember the integration therefore integrating both sides integrating both sides integrating both sides so what happens is so integral s to infinity f bar of s into ds is equal to so integral s to infinity integral 0 to infinity 
e power minus s t into f of t into d t and d s. Okay. So this integral s to infinity f bar of s to d s is equal to now we change the order of integration. So integral zero to infinity integral s to infinity. So integral s to infinity relevant terms related to here e power minus s t into d s. This remaining terms f of t into d t related here. Okay. So that is nothing but integral zero to infinity f of t into d t into this integral s t infinity e power minus s t. This if you do the integration e power minus s t by with respect to d s yeah, means you will get minus t into minus t. Okay. So the between the limits s to infinity. So that is nothing but equal to integral zero to infinity f of t into dt into if you substitute minus uh, in, uh, infinity upper limit so you are going to get 0 minus so if you substitute yes if you substitute yes so in place of s if you substitute uh, yes you are going to get e power minus s t by minus t ok so that is nothing but equal to integral 0 to infinity e power minus s t into f of t by t into dt. So this is nothing but equal to them by Laplace definition. Laplace of f of t by t. So integral s to infinity f bar of s into ds is equal to Laplace of f of t by t. Therefore hence proved. Hence proved. So first, uh, what what we did is, uh, so this is a statement. This is the statement of the theorem. So if L of f of t is equal to f bar of s, if L of f of t is equal to f bar of s, then Laplace of f of t by t is equal to integral s to infinity f bar of s into ds. Okay, first f bar of s by the definition of the Laplace, this is the formula integrating both sides because it is the division. So both sides integration between the s to infinity you are going to get like this. So ds and relevant terms f of t dt and the remaining terms I am writing inside the 0 to infinity integral. So integral 0 to infinity f of t into dt this uh, integration of e power minus s t is nothing but e power minus s t by minus t between the limits s to infinity. So if you did that one you are going to get 0 minus e power minus s t by minus t okay therefore integral 0 to infinity e power minus s t into f of t by t because minus minus get uh, converted into plus f of t by t into dt okay therefore this is nothing but uh, according to the laplace definition laplace of f of t by t therefore hence proved okay thank you Today we are going to discuss multiplication with the t power n theorem and proof. Today we are going to discuss a theorem. Theorem. What that theorem is? Laplace of t power n into f of t. Laplace of t power n into f of t is equal to minus 1 power n into nth derivative of nth derivative of f bar of s. So this is the theorem we have to prove. Okay. This is the theorem we have to prove. So first what you have to consider is let us consider f bar of s is nothing but Laplace of f of t. So by the standard definition it is integral 0 to infinity e power minus s t into f of t dt. Okay. f of t dt. So multiplication with t means always you have to remember differentiation. So 
so differentiating both sides differentiating both sides what happens let us look at so differentiating both sides what happens laplace of sorry laplace of differentiating is okay. so dy ds of f bar of s dy ds of f bar of s is equal to dy ds of integral 0 to infinity e power minus s t into f of t dt so that is nothing but integral 0 to infinity dy ds of e power minus s t into f of t into dt so that is nothing but integral 0 to infinity e power minus s t into minus s t differentiation with respect to x means you will get minus t into f of t dt okay so that is nothing but minus integral 0 to infinity e power minus s t into t into f of t dt f of t dt so uh, this fourth step is dy ds of f bar of s is equal to this much so that is nothing but minus 1 into dy ds of f bar of s dy ds of f bar of s is nothing but equal to integral 0 to infinity e power minus s t into t into f of t dt so that is nothing but e power minus s t into t f of t dt t into f of t dt that implies laplace of t into f of t laplace of t into f of t this is nothing but so this is nothing but minus 1 into dy ds of f bar of s is equal to laplace of t into f of t okay so for n is equal to 1 the theorem is the theorem is true for n is equal to 1 the theorem is true so we consider we consider for n is equal to m for n is equal to m the theorem is true the theorem is true for n is equal to m okay for n is equal to 1 the theorem is true so that means for n is equal to 1 the theorem is true means minus 1 into into f bar of s is equal to m the derivative is equal to laplace of t power m into f of t okay laplace of t power m into f of t so minus 1 power here also m okay next uh, we will do again uh, differentiating both sides again differentiating both sides what happens let us look at that one so you can go to the next previous page so again differentiating means you are going to get uh, minus 1 power m into so uh, d power m plus 1 by ds power m plus 1 ok into f bar of s is equal to so laplace of t power m into f of t this is laplace of t power m into f of t d by ds of laplace of t into f of t ok 
so that is nothing but laplace of t in f of t and t integral 0 to infinity d by ds of d by ds of e power minus s t into t f of t t power m into f of t dt okay so that is nothing but equal to that is nothing but d by ds of e power minus s t into t power m into f of t is equal to integral 0 to infinity differentiation of e power minus s t means e power minus s t into diff minus t into t power m into f of t dt okay so that is nothing but equal to minus 1 into integral 0 to infinity into e power minus s t into t power m plus 1 into f of t dt okay so that is nothing but integral 0 to infinity e power minus s t into t power m plus 1 into f of t dt so this negative sign you move to the left hand side therefore it will become minus 1 whole power m plus 1 into m plus 1 the derivative of f bar of s f bar of s is equal to this one so therefore this uh, right hand side part you can write as the laplace of t power m plus 1 into f of t f of t so in general so uh, we have proved for n is equal to m m plus 1 the theorem is true is true so therefore in general we have laplace of t power n into f of t is equal to minus 1 power n into t power n into f bar of s ok hence proved hence proved ok thank you